David's tooltip challenge this week is to create this magnificent wine rack from these raw materials in the space of about an hour. An hour? About an hour. Okay. okay. What you're going to need is a saw, yeah. set square, mm -hmm. some drills, tape measure, uh -huh. glue, some screws, sander, sharp pencil, right. miter cutter, and some instructions maybe. I'll definitely need the instructions. Probably simpler than it looks, but oh well, let's see if we can get it done in the hour. We start by cutting our piece of lattice to one side of the centre batten. These are a standard size, come pre-cut, which is great. Makes it easier, no saw cutting. And there's four of them. Using one piece as a template, we mark the edge so we know where to drill the guide holes that hold the box together. After drilling, we nice. use craft nice. glue for extra strength and then and screw the up. sides together. Ah, the well, Even though we're using self-drilling chipboard screws, pre-drilling is important to avoid splitting the MDF. When? Three. Right. Yeah. Okay, right. so if this is the bottom, should we stand it? Oops. Okay, first thing uh, I'm going to do is we then measure and, using our hand mitre saw, cut the dressed Moranti frame. A hand mitre saw, like we're using here and on lots of other nuts and bolts projects, are relatively inexpensive, somewhere between $60 and $85. And for small DIY projects like this, they're a really good investment. Well, we've actually done all the cuts. All we have to do now is put it together. We'll have to watch that. Yep. OK. So that's the front bottom. Come Once on. the frame is fitted in place, we pre-drill and use some more of our 40 mm long chipboard screws to fix the Moranti frame in place. Pre-drilling this means the Moranti won't split. This one, now, gluing is optional. Yeah. So we're not going to glue this one. <coughs> yeah. Jolly good. Now mark the lattice. It's okay. Then we measure and mark the lattice, which we will screw to the Moranti frames. Because the lattice is not manufactured to precision standards, sizes may vary and, like we did, you might have to remove the batten and trim the lattice to size. When trimming the pieces, select one for the back of the wine it's rack like to glove. fit so that the horizontal frames of the lattice will line up 30 millimetres lower than the horizontal battens on the front piece of lattice. That's this is to allow your bottles of wine to sit like flat. Then glue and, using 25 millimetre flathead panel pins, attach the 3 millimetre MDF sheet to the back of the wine rack. We then score with a trimming knife and carefully snap off the excess MDF sheet. So all we've got to do is trim this both sides, snap it off carefully, nail the top and that's it. Is that right? Hopefully. Okay. Careful. There we go. Good. Let's have a look at it. Oh, that's pretty good. It's very good. Yep. And uh, just inside the hour. You can then finish your wine rack with varnish or stain or just about whatever you want. And if one isn't enough, they're so simple, you can build more.